Hi guys, my name is Radhika and currently I'm in my fourth year pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from KIIT. So as I was preparing for my placements, I faced a lot of difficulties in understanding the basic standard problems of DSA, especially trees. So today we're going to be discussing in-order traversal of a tree. code for the recursive approach of uh, printing the in-order traversal of the tree. I faced personally a lot of issues uh, understanding how this three lines give us the in-order traversal. I personally used to just mug it up but I assure you after this video you will understand how this actually works and you will not have to learn this. So let's begin. I have taken a very basic example of a tree, a binary tree, and I'm going to explain explain you how this works. So when from the main function, let's just suppose it's a stack area, when we call in order from a main function, passing the root value to it, it main function actually calls in order with value 20 and a function in a stack memory is um, now present and uh, this function is now in uh, the fun the control is now with this function when this function starts to run it first executes this code now if root this actually means root is equal equal to null so which is false in this case so this won't execute and it will go on to the next line which is this one and this will call i'm sorry this will call in order root left so that means the root left so 20, uh, 15 value will be called and now there is another function in the stack and always the topmost function is in control. So this is a function uh, which has the control. Now this will again start running the code from the first line. Again this is false. Now again it will call in order left. Now it's in order and the left is 35. So now this is another function in our stack now which is on top. Now this function will again call its left. Now this is null. So when this function is called, when this function is in control, this func actually turns to be true. So this just returns, right? So my control will go back to this function. Okay, now when the control is in this function, we have already executed this line. So it starts from this line now. Now here, as it says, see out root data. So this will just print my data, which is 35 and it will go on to the next line. The next line is in order root right. So now this was this has done its part. So this will be eliminated from the stack. And uh, again, the, this will call the root right in order which is again null so again this will return and the control will come back to this function and now if you see we have already executed this part as well so this will uh, this will get uh, removed from the stack as well as this function will get removed from the stack as it has done its work now the control is uh, back to the function with value 15 this has done this part so it will now print root uh, data which is 15 and it will go on to the next line it will call root right now the root right is again null so it will just return the control back to this function it will come here and since nothing is here so this function has also done its work now the both will be eliminated from the stack and the control will go back to uh, the root value 20. Now from here, when uh, we will print the root data, that, uh, that's what we'll be doing. Now it will call root right, which is not null this time, but 25. So 25 is called and then this function will again call its left, which is null again. So again, this will return the control to this function. It will just print its data and this will be get, this will get eliminated from the stack and this function will again call. Now we have printed the data. Now it will call its right, right? So it's again um, in order with the root value 45. Now uh, when this root value is entered this function, it will call its left, it's null. So it will return and it, the control will come back to this function again. This will print its data 
and then again it will call its right which is again null so the control will come back to this and we have we are done with this so this will get uh, removed from the stack now when the control come back to this we have we had called root right so the control is so this is also done so the control will go back to root 20 so we are done with this too so the control will again go back to the main function and the remaining part of the main will be executed and as you can see we have already got our answer the in order traversal of the tree which is this one okay so i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know in the comment section below if this video was helpful and if it was share it with your friends as well and give it a big fat thumbs up bye bye happy coding